it is Monday, March 14th. Look at my background. I took that photo when we were on the plane. Um, I keep saying we, actually. I'm gonna address that right away. A lot of people have been asking me, Kitty, when you say we, who do you mean? And I honestly mean you and I. Because we're doing everything together and I feel like you guys are part of everything in my life. So I, when I say we got cabinets, I mean you and I. Um, my house, a lot of people have been asking. It is my house. Um, I bought it by myself and those are all renovations that I am doing. And then when I say we, it's because I'm really excited that we are, you and I, are involved in it. So anytime I say we, that's what I mean. And sorry if that's been confusing anyone. It makes sense when I say it. But, um, oh, I just lost my phone <laughs> in the crack. Oh, it's gone. You're gonna have to stop your camera because it's so hard to get it out. You've tried, done this before? Yeah. Trust me. You I just shake it? it shake it, shake it. So our plans today are going to be stream. I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently on stream today. I think I'm definitely going to play, maybe play some Counter-Strike, um, but I was thinking that we could do some graphics, so I'll show you guys again how I make my graphics because I want to update my Twitch page to kind of be in the theme of like spring and Easter, kind of similar to my new starting soon and offline screen, which I guess only some of you guys would see because a lot of people... I'm realizing can't watch my stream during the hours I stream at. I stream 10 till 2 Pacific, which is like uh, not applicable for a lot of people. So I apologize for that. Those are just the times that have always worked best for me. Okay, so I just filmed my skincare routine video. I ended up making it, it was like 15 minutes. I bet when I cut it down, it's gonna be probably like 10. So I'm gonna include that as a separate video and I'll probably release both at the same time. So the link will be in the description down below. The stream was so good today. I taught you guys how to make graphics and set up your stream and it was really fun. All for free, all free programs, everything. So no excuses about, you know, setting up and running a professional stream. So it was really fun and I redid all my graphics. So if you guys wanna go to my Twitch channel, check them out, let me know what you think. They look awesome, I'm really proud of them. So yeah, we're gonna get something to eat now, nom nom. When Harley's hungry, he goes into the pantry and just sniffs his bowls. Oh, and who's this? A wild ginger appears. Well, we're going on an adventure today. I'm not sure where. I'm going to take you on an adventure. I'm going to take you out on the town. Really, really, I've been craving doing like a big purge of my closet. Maybe we could clean our room together. I bet you guys have some clothes in your closet you don't need or wear anymore. Maybe we could do that together. That could be our challenge today. And then we can go and drop everything off at Value Village. And yeah, let's do it. I had a really bad hair day today. Like really bad. Like to the point where I couldn't even wear it in a side braid bed. If you're a girl or someone with long hair and you know, if the side braid fails you, it means it's a real bad hair day. Step one, good music. Fortunately, my Beats pill is currently at my house for when we were painting, so we're gonna just have to play off my phone, but that's all good. Now, the most important thing about cleaning out your closet, never meant to make you cry, but tonight, cleaning out my closet, is to decide which of these things I wear, which of them I do not anymore, so that's really easy, because most of the stuff I don't wear anymore. It's a sad day for my clothes. Sorry, boys. You gotta go. Outfit of the day, I've got these new gold cat eye sunglasses. Literally, they have little ears in the corner. Um, from Aldo, I am wearing this shirt, it's from The Gap. Uh, this vest I got somewhere in Europe. I think it was Bershka, but I just love it so much because it's got cute little ears in the hood. Meow, meow. And then I'm wearing my 
think they're Joe jeans, and then these boots are from Sam Edelman from uh, Nordstrom a while ago. So, oh, and then my new bag, my new purple bag. I really like it. I got it at Marshalls. I'm not sure it works with this. I'm sure all the men who are watching are like, Kitty, everything works. And the girls are like, yeah, no, that doesn't work. And then I'm like, well, you know, I wish I could get your advice now, but I mean, it's a little too late. There's a storm brewing. It's windy and it smells like fire because all of Kelowna orchards are burning right now. Dolores and Doris sharing their chicken fingers and yam fries. And then my mom got the tuna stack. Mom, another Thai. We're gonna be the Thai woman now. <laughs> and Lucy, what did you get? Starter salad. Starter salad. And I got the quinoa salad. I wasn't too hungry, so I got half of it boxed up. And we're all having a glass of wine. Six dollar wine, guys. And Dolores and Doris know where to go. <laughs> So, my question for today is, what is the funnest thing in your life right now? And what is the best piece of advice you have for people in their teens, 20s, and 30s? That's two questions. First question, what's the most fun? For you, Dolores, I am having so much fun at this time in my life. I don't, I can't tell you what's the most fun. Everything is fun. Just being with people, being with friends, being with friends of friends. You know, it's just, I just love, I love it. Every day is a good day. Good, good people. Good. And what is your best piece of advice for people, young people? Not, we're all young, but. Like your friend? <laughs> That's a very important question. I would like them to, to do, find something that they'd like to do, and then pursue their future in that category. But um, love is very important, too. So, Hopefully they will find their love and then of prodding everybody else to find something like that. I think that's really good advice. Nice to meet you, Dolores. <laughs> So this is my grandma. You got the girl, girls right here. So we'll ask you, what is the happiest, same ones, what is the happiest thing in your life right now? Well, my family is because they're all healthy and happy and doing well mm -hmm. and pursuing their dreams. What is your best piece of advice for young people? Follow your dreams. Make, make sure you always put away some money. Don't, <laughs> Save your don't money. Spend it all. Um, because you're going to retire someday and you want a mistake. That's good advice. Do what you love and don't spend all your money on girls and shoes. <laughs> I can always tell when I get in a new car when I have to pump it all the way down because <laughs> my mom and my sister are so much shorter. All right guys, just finished dinner. It was like a late lunch, honestly. I ended up just having a little bit of a salad and a glass of wine with my mom, my grandma, my grandma's best friend, and my sister. And uh, now we're gonna head back home. This was our adventure for the day, guys. I'm really, really eager and excited to get finished cleaning my room. I organized all of my makeup, all of my closet. I got rid of a ton of stuff, which I'm gonna need to drop off at Valley Village very soon here. But, yes. 
Today I needed this. This is like spring cleaning and then now I just need to tackle the rest of my room and all the cords and computers I've collected. So be prepared maybe in the future for some, some computer giveaways because I have like three gaming laptops, two PCs plus my monster PC right at this point. So we may need to, we may need to purge some of that stuff. So I'm just gonna drive home jam out to the beats. My favorite thing in the world is good music and fast cars. Let's go home, shall we? Okay, I need to go and see this musical ASAP. ASAP! Wow, my car turned off just as that song ended. Coincidence? I think not. Mealy. Mealy. Get her. Get her. Alright, guys, back in the room. I am going to get some editing done. And then, I don't know what we're going to be up to the rest of the day, to be honest. I just got quite a bit of work to get done tomorrow. Just realized I did not plan anything for the cooking stream tomorrow, and I didn't go grocery shopping for it. <laughs> Can we just lay on the floor and ignore responsibilities for a little bit, please? <laughs> God damn it. How did I forget that? Whatever. Not worrying about it. Do you want to go outside, Inky? Modern day cat door. Kristen's ghetto kitchen setup is complete. Oh my God, it turned on. And then it turned off. Okay, testing it. I've only used this PC once. Will it turn on? Oh, find out on tonight's episode. So far so good. This is the PC that I built at the TwitchCon Intel booth. There's a video of how I built it on my live stream. It's a good PC that you can take with you on the go. Hashtag believe in the Kristen second stream setup. Okay, I have spent the last two hours setting up everything here. The sad part about using a new PC means that I need to set up all of my OBS, all my sub alerter, and it is just a big pain in the butt having to upload everything to Google Drive and download it and then get it set up. But here's what I've got so far. There you guys are on the camera. So we're gonna do a Kitty Plays Chef. There's me. We're gonna have a little floater camera. This one that will be able to get close-ups of all the food. Get close-up of you, hey baby. And got my keyboard, mouse, mouse mat, and everything is set up. So now, the hard part. I have literally no recipes. No general idea for what I'm gonna do. All I have planned is that I'm going to cook. I will need to grocery shop in the morning. And what I think might be a really cool, fun idea is I got a pasta maker for Christmas. So I think that I'm going to try and create ramen. I think it'd be really fun, although most people don't have a ramen maker, so it might not be relatable. So right now, what I'm debating between which will already be decided. I wish I could get your guys' input. I wish I thought of this earlier. That is, should I make something relatable or should I make something that's like fun and interesting to watch? So I think we're gonna attempt pasta because that'll be cool. Good luck, Kristen. Good luck, child. All right guys, so I have a ton of stuff to get done for tomorrow. I'm just a little bit overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I just definitely left planning um, for my stream tomorrow until the very end. I'm kind of feeling like I did in school uh, where you promise people that you are gonna do something or you have a deadline and then you know you could be doing, organizing your work better so that you're able to get things done and then you just prioritize other things differently whether it's house stuff or shopping or family time when you know that you should be getting what needs to get done. And I'm really, really proud of my, myself in the fact that I'm really, really good at getting things done 
and working on the fly. So even with no plan, I can execute a stream really well if it's like an event stream, not just a regular stream. So I know that tomorrow will be good because of that, but I just, I wish I had done more planning. I wish I had an idea of what I was cooking for you guys tomorrow. I wish I took more time to think what would be the best thing to cook tomorrow. Um, but I know it's gonna be a fun stream and I know it's gonna go well, but it's just like really overwhelming right now. Oh, it's funny, I normally get like this when it's the night before like an event stream or something. So I apologize for you guys having to see this. I just have to end the vlog. <laughs> Normally I would just go to bed. Everyone feels overwhelmed at times and you are gonna have times in your life, whether you like it or not, where you are just gonna feel a little bit overwhelmed, okay? Your heart's gonna feel a little bit tight. You're gonna feel a little bit upset. You're gonna just feel a little bit out of control. But I want you to know that everyone feels like that and it is natural for your body to feel like that once in a while. And you just need to focus on being kind to yourself and realizing why you're feeling like that and making sure that you get the things done that need to get done and that's it no questions asked you are in control you are in this life to do well to live well and you do not ever need to be upset with yourself when you are overwhelmed do not confuse that with being feeling stressed or having anxiety it's just a moment of being overwhelmed and you can change it into a lot of good things like working fast, being more focused, etc. Maybe having good ideas, I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I also get overwhelmed at times and there's moments where I feel like I'm just like totally not in control and I'm not doing well at anything and it's kind of overwhelming, definitely. So I'm gonna go and get my shit together and figure out everything with regards to my cooking stream tomorrow and I'll let you guys know how it goes um, tomorrow. I might even include some clips. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be watching. Um, but yeah, you guys are amazing. You are so strong. You are so awesome. If you're feeling overwhelmed right now, I want you to know that it is okay. I also feel overwhelmed right now. And even though I feel overwhelmed, I can trust myself that I can get this done. I can spend this next time not laying on the floor ignoring responsibilities, but actually getting the work that I need to get done done in order to make an amazing, amazing stream. And I know there's people that are going to be in the comments that be like, Kitty, you know, you don't have to plan anything for your streams. Like, this is, we will love you if you just sit there with no graphics and play Counter-Strike. And yes, I know that I have an amazing community. I love you and that's why I love you. But in my life, I always need to be improving and not in like a manic way but I always want to be challenging myself and especially with my stream I never want to have my stream be something that just feels rinse and repeat every single thing that you see on my stream has been planned has been thought out has been strategized I want to create the best entertainment that I possibly can for you guys I want to create an escape that you guys can come and join and we can be happy, we can feel loved, and we can leave as more confident, better, kinder, happier people to go and just spread kindness throughout the world to people who really need it. So that is the point of my streams. I'm always going to do my 100% best for that. And then that is what kind of causes this like inner turmoil because you always compare yourself to yourself non-stop that's my main like <laughs> I don't really believe in competition because I want to create situations where everybody always wins so in competition people there's always a loser you know and I want the loser if I'm gonna be competitive I want the loser to be my past self okay I want I want to always be you know exceeding myself and I'm sure that I'll come to realize later in life that this isn't healthy either, you know, competing with yourself, just competition in general is not good. The sticker word of the day is going to be Chef Kitty. If you guys made it to the end of the vlog, make sure to include that in the comments or you can tweet at me, Chef Kitty, so that I know that you made it to the end. And then let me know in the comments what your favorite thing to cook is, so in case I really do enjoy doing a cooking stream, I can include you guys 
uh, your recipes in the future ones or just cooking for myself. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I'm having so much fun making these vlogs and I'm having so much fun including you guys with me in my life and I'm really, really excited for everything planned this year together and yeah, so I guess we'll find out tomorrow how well I pull off this cookie, cookie, <laughs> cookie stream. <laughs> Maybe I'll make cookies. Maybe that was a sign I should make cookies. How well this cookie stream, cookie, why do I keep saying cookie? How well this cooking stream goes, I'll let you guys know tomorrow and I will see you then. So I love you, have a good night, morning, evening, day at work. I will see you guys later, bye.